Maddie, well, Justin, new eternal featherweight champ. How does it feel? Um, really, really good. Obviously, it's a uh, it's been a big year. So, like, like I said, in their fourth fight in ten months, um, you know, each of those fights is like a twelve week camp involved, or you know, there's numerous sort of things, numerous setbacks. Like I said, I have my rib injury, um, but that's probably the least of my sort of struggles this year with involving sort of the cage and you know, the cage. Like, I had a few friends throughout the year that um that passed away, unfortunately. So. You know, that, that's kind of all the stuff that you got to put on the back, in the back burner until everything sort of gets settled. And, you know, I'm going to be able to go back now and enjoy this, but also, you know, process those sort of things and deal with that. But that's the sacrifices we make for this gig, and I'm just stoked. I'm here. I worked hard to be here. I earned it. I'm number one, and uh, I'm excited to see what's next. Having that many fights in such a short amount of time, was that always the plan when you went into this year? 100%. I try and stay active. I mean, if you look at my career, I'm fighting all the time. Like, outside of the COVID years, I was... Pretty much, yeah, three, four fights a year, like stay active. So that's what I want to do. I want to be active. I want to follow suit with uh, what my teammates are doing, you know, and just follow the plan. Mm. Now with Diego, uh, five years ago, he knocked you out. At one point you were teammates. You guys do have a fair bit of personal history. When you go into a fight like that, does that change anything for you? No, not at all. I mean, yeah, we got history, but at the end of the day, he's a competitor, I'm a competitor. That's what we came to do. So yeah, you know, we fought, we trained together, we worked together fought again and uh, yeah it is what it is it's, it's the business it is fair to say it was a dominant performance on your half um, but in the fifth round Diego did come back with a bit of energy what did you make of that effort from him and what were you thinking when that was all unfolding um I was like holy shit uh, <laughs> this is not where I want to be but you know it just shows that the heart that that guy has the will to win to try and find a way to win um, you know so props to him he come back he won that round uh, he did what he had to do but you know, I was pretty confident that I had the other rounds. I just needed to sort of survive, improve my position. But, you know, he did really well. But that just speaks to the volumes of the character that he is. And I'm excited to see what's next for him as well. Speaking of what's next, now that you've got the title, what can we expect to see from yourself? Uh, February, Perth. I want to be on that card. Cam knows I want to be on that card. And uh, anyone that wants it can come get it. But if you want a name, Rod Costa, let's go. Let's run it back.